today I'm out here visiting my neighbors and um, we're going to take care of some chickens. So these guys have not eaten since last night, so they are just really happy to see me. I bet. They're waiting think... thinking I'm going to give them food. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so she's grabbed one. She's going to show us how it's done first and then we'll hop in and start helping. He's a little bit smaller. I think I'm going to give him this smaller cone. Okay. And we'll go upside down. I'm going to tuck that head inside of there. Okay. Oh, there goes the knife. She's got it. Second. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of ice, put it in this tray, and in here. This is where the organs are going to go once I rinse them and everything. Okay. And let's keep them on ice. And once there's enough of them, I'll put them in a baggie. Okay. And what then, you gonna do with the organs? Um. So I. Some people buy them. They just like to have them to eat. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, livers. Uh, the. Um, Fried gizzards and gizzards and, and the um, heart. Pretty much it. But if I can't sell them pretty quick, I dehydrate them. And oh. I use them to sell as dog treats. Cool. And dogs love them. So we're not wasting anything. No oh, parts no. are wasted here. Nothing. Nothing at all. I can get some ice for that. So we want things to stay cold and as much as possible. So my waist is going to go in this one. My chicken is going here. And sometimes I'll do two at a time. That way I can... Put one here to rest while I'm doing one, and then they switch them out. And then they'll go okay. in here, and they'll get covered up in ice. Oh, okay. So, because you really want them to get cold as fast as possible. Okay. And you were explaining the water. So this, the temperature should be at what? Between 160 is too hot. 160 really will cook them. Okay. So 150 is your good base. Um, okay. If you go at 140, you can still do it, but you're going to... It's be harder to get the feathers out. Okay. So sounds good. So I can use them in the scalder. Oh, that's a great idea. They just go right in there, and it's about ten seconds. Doesn't take very long. I kind of check and see is the skin starting to come off. Yes. And then grab it and see if these. Wing feathers come off easy, they're not yet, so it still needs a couple more seconds. They're starting to come out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see. So now I, I really want to cool this down okay. as much as I can. Pull them off a little bit. And then we go right to the plucker. Down there. This is actually the string for that, and it works great because the feathers go down in there and water doesn't accumulate, you just get feathers. Awesome. So, I saw that on somebody else's page and I went, That's cool. That's, That's a great idea. idea. It's very smart. <laughs> That quick? That quick. Yeah, Isn't that amazing? Fascinating. And what it does when it's taking off those feathers, it's also taking off a, a very small layer of skin. So you're talking about having to get that last bit off. Look at that. And it just kind of takes it off. So. Wow. So this is still pretty warm from the yeah. scalder. So I'm going to go here and get in some ice while I get things ready. You have quite the setup here. So. I'm gonna get going. So you can see the feet have started to peel off. Oh. You want that peeled off because um, that's just, you know, very dirty. I use, um, these are uh, bone, bone knives okay. or b bone scissors. Just clip those tail nose or toe, nut, toe nails off because we actually dehydrate these also and we sell them to people as dog treats. 
and it's just a quick, and they're done. So you can tell if you've gotten to the right temperature if you're if it's hard to get that off or it's easy. If it's easy, you've done a pretty good job. Okay. Otherwise, you, you make it harder on yourself. And then just a slice of the joint there. Off yep. it goes. Off it goes. We don't want these flies on there. So while I'm putting these legs in a bag, or I'll just put them right in this ice. Kind of clean up a little bit. This is my trash. Okay. All the trash goes there. I could take this and just put it over top, but it's not completely secure, so. Okay. I like using these towels because they just seem to be much easier. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and start right here. This is its um, crop inside here. That's where its food's sitting before it goes to be digested. And so we want to get that out. So you can see it's like a pouch. And any grass or whatever they've eaten today is probably sitting in there. So we want to just kind of work around it and around the skin. And then get in here and get it right off. And I don't feed them. I leave at least 12 hours where they're not fed. That way we have less of that kind of debris okay. in there. So then these are great. Just come right here. Sniff right through there. And then that can be something that can either be sold or used for soup. You can make, you know, broth off of it. Oh yeah. So then we come back here, and this is the part you got to be really careful. You don't want to break the intestines because then you get poo in there, which if you do, you can rinse it out and just be really diligent, but you try really hard not to. Okay. Then also, um, there is a gallbladder in here that's connected to the liver. Oh. We really don't want to do that. Okay. If that gets broken, it's pretty much tainted. Oh my. So we try not to do that. I better watch carefully. So we first of all do a nice little slit here. You can see this is part of that intestine right there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get it free. One on the side. I do a slit across the belly right there and then this side. So, take it, huh, gotta put my hand in here, and pull all this out. This is about the grossest part right here. Oh yeah. Okay. So now all that's out, rinse my hand real quick. Okay. Gizzards, your liver. Heart. And, we're, and you're going to save all those? Everything except for the gallbladder that we talked about. So you got to kind of reach in there. That's the heart. Inside of here, you have two lungs and you actually have two little kidneys. You want to get those out. Okay. That honestly takes you just scraping the inside with your hand. Or they do have um, lung removers. I've tried one and it didn't work very well. So I don't know if I was. Just like a handle and a scraper type of yeah. thing, maybe. I think I've seen something like that. So you, you just... want that. That's their lung okay. to come out. Well, I'm also looking for the other end of their esophagus. Right here. That. See? Oh, okay. I'm gonna pull that out too. Okay, so for the most part, this chicken is done. We're gonna rinse it and put it on ice okay. right away. So 
That's why I say you get awfully wet. <laughs> I can't wait till I get a sink so I can just use a sink to do it. <laughs> And in it goes. All right, there's number one. There's rocks in there, grass. Now this is how you get a rooster. Pretty big girl. Look at their pretty, pretty turkey. Big girl. They're a royal palm. And they grow up so beautiful. They really do. <laughs> you hatched all these babies? No, we actually we bought all the meat chickens. We bought them from uh, Oh, so they came with baby chicks. Yes. Okay. So they were all in two different boxes. Awesome. Pick them up in the mail. These babies are almost four weeks old. There we go. Change in the cavity. Twist tie. All the air up and it shrinks around it. See? Sweet. Okay. All right, and I'll do the trim in. Okay. Aren't those pretty? All the chickies done and the roosters.